We have been trying to do comps and have kind of run into a couple of issues. So uh, we haven't really found like on Redfin and Zillow any houses that have sold within the last month and sometimes even within the last six months. We're just not finding really great comps. Really, we're struggling to find relevant comps. Yeah, uh, yeah. We can find properties that are older or that were sold, I don't know, six months ago. Obviously, that's not the best thing to go off of at this point. It's not relevant enough and we're not feeling confident yeah. about the numbers that we're able to put together. We're just struggling trying to figure that out. Do you have any advice? Great question. So if you think about comping a property, clearly the most relevant are going to be similar properties close to your subject property that sold in the past three months. If you can find that, then you've got everything you need to create relevant value. So what can you do if you don't have that? What you have to do is you have to start expanding the criteria until you can at least establish a baseline. So there's a couple of ways you can do that. You can go further out away from your subject property. That's dangerous. Or you got one other option is to go further back in time. I would rather see you stay closer in proximity than to go further away. So I'd rather see you go back in time more, but stay close than to go away, but stay closer in time. Does that make sense? You had to pick the two. Better to look at older comps next door than newer comps across town. But you have to also keep in mind that the older you go, the more you're going back into the hot market and the less relevant those are. So it means you're going to have to still discount those comps. Is there like a percentage maybe that you would think of perhaps discounting it by based off of time uh, since that comp kind of a thing? Yeah. I mean, there's no real cut and dry way to do this, but there's two things I like to look at. I like to look at actives. So I hope you're looking at actives. What's sitting right now that's not selling? That's really scary if you've got renovated homes sitting and they've got long days on market. So I want to look at that. So maybe I can't find any relevant comps. And the reason might be that nothing's selling, it's all sitting. So there are no three month old comps because you know everything's now sitting on the market and not selling. That's alarming. What I do is if that's happening, which I'm, I'm going to bet that's what's happening. The way I look to look at it is if I bought this house, renovated it, and it was on market today, and I was another active with these other ones, and I wanted to sell in 30 days or less, where would I need to be priced so that I would sell. So if they're all sitting at 400 and they're not selling, I want to be at 350. So mine sells. Yeah. So guess what my new ARV is? 350. Mm -hmm. Why? Because 400 is not selling and I want to sell fast. It's just a arbitrary way of trying to come up with a value. It's using logic that if a buyer goes out and they've got 10 houses at 400,000 renovated in my neighborhood, what do I got to do to beat all those guys and get mine sold and while theirs aren't selling? Well, price mine aggressively and it'll sell. Putting the two of those together would be really helpful. Mm -hmm. The other thing that I'll look at is I want to look at the graph on how the market's fluctuating. Redfin, Realtor.com, I think Zillow as well. They'll give you these market indicators and they look at it month over month. Get the data on what your county, zip code, sometimes even neighborhood, how it's trending month over month. And what I want to look at is I want to look at right now the no, the the November as soon as December data comes out in like mid January, I want to look at how's December trending over November. And what I'm finding is in the really good markets, it's kind of flat, but a lot of markets are dropping. You know, they're trending down. And so I'm trying to anticipate. Well, how much is that downward trend going to continue? And I'm letting that kind of also factor in how much depreciation do I want to give my ARV? So for example, I looked at a deal the other day in Tampa, or even I just bought a deal in Oklahoma City. And Oklahoma City, it kind of, you know, July was the peak like everywhere nationwide. July was kind of the peak. And that's part seasonal, right? July is the, the summer. So more home sell anyway. And so naturally the cycle goes down anyway, just because of season, real estate season. But it's also going down because the market's correcting. In Oklahoma City, it was interesting because it peaked in July. It did a slight dip, kind of flat in like August, September, but then November spiked up. Not a lot, but it went back up. And so I'm looking at Oklahoma City and going, you know what? This market's kind of holding out. It's kind of weathering the down market okay so far. Now, it doesn't mean it won't do a drop still later, but at least it's not doing a scary drop since July. Mm -hmm. Whereas I've looked at other markets where it hit July and then August, September, October, November are all down, 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 down. It's coming down. That's telling me that if I were to buy this house, renovate it and put it back up for sale in four months from now, 
if it continues that trend, I'm gonna be a lot lower in value than I am today. So I'm looking at that and I'm looking at actives to try to come up with a reasonable adjustment, a conservative adjustment where I'm gonna be safe. I appreciate it. Yeah, That's a very so holistic much. way of looking at it. I appreciate that. Yeah. Okay, good.